I but never saw Miss McMahon. She just slapped Miss McMahon. Four quarters short of a dollar. Certifiably crazy bad. Got all the vibes. Yeah, I got all the vibes. I, I can't let you run. A nigga can't let you run. This rock star love. Got me on another high. This with my mind. All these drugs on my mind. I got all the vibes. Yeah, I got all the vibes. I can't let you run. A nigga can't let you run. This rock star It's good, Dark Knight Gang, and it's that gang, gang. Today I'm about to do a video from Mr. Trend Motion, something like that. This one right here is titled Seven Craziest WWE Women. I told you guys I'm gonna show the women a little bit more love. I dropped a video a few days ago about women. Now I'm doing another video about the WWE women. We love them, we appreciate them. They're all, first off, they all in great shape. They all are beautiful, and they all some beasts, cuz. But we're about to see the craziest ones. I'm ready to hop on into this. Everybody have a great day. Bro, click the link down below. Check out the music video, Why Not? It's literally three minutes. You're going to like it. I do some acting in there. It's really good, bro. I'm telling you, it's the best one by far, cuz. Shout out to everybody that's already watched it. Shout out to the ones that are going to watch it. But let's hop into this video. We're going to see the craziest WWE women. Everybody have a great day. Have a great week. It's Monday. Y'all, let's go. World Wrestling Entertainment loves portraying their villainous female characters as crazy maniacs. There have been quite a few women in WWE with psychopathic tendencies, and today we're going to revisit those superstars. It's time to play the trivia game. In 2019, a certain female superstar made her return as a face, but soon after that, viciously blindsided Natalia and therefore you showed us all it, it do you Sasha know who Banks. was that female superstar you already comment showed below us. if you know the answer but you right. need to hit the like button on the way she's gonna have pretty little scars and pretty little bruises and gosh they said I was nuts let's start with the most recent one it's kind of hard to put a label on the current version I still can't believe they allowed Alexa Bliss to take the Fiend's uh, whole gimmick and get rid of the Fiend. That's crazy, cuz. But let's keep going. Alexa Bliss. You That's could say that she crazy. has psychotic tendencies, but she's also extremely But I do possessed. like this new uh, so Alexa I guess that Bliss, explains so. it. Bliss has done some unbelievable things in the past few months. Poured gasoline all over herself, appeared on top of a huge box at WrestleMania 37 in an extremely scary manner lashed out at Eva Marie and introduced her creepy little friend, a doll called Lily. Meet my new friend, Lily. <laughs> but hey, what can you do? She's not crazy, she's just possessed. Not yet. Nah, that bit crazy. You do you guys like her new uh, gimmick? Let me know down in the comments. Some of you guys already told me y'all don't like it. Can't put WWE and crazy in the same sentence without mentioning AJ Lee. AJ first debuted as a sweet girl next door, but soon turned into a beautiful nightmare. Her actions throughout the years have been nothing less than jaw-dropping. She has put both Daniel Bryan and CM Punk through a table, plotted a vicious plan against her best friend, Caitlyn. You are crazy! You are crazy! And bit Natalia's ear during a match. What? It's safe to say that the former Divas champion is not the one to mess with. She's a beady eyed, mad as a hatter, four quarters short of a dollar, certifiably crazy bad! I didn't know AJ Lee character was crazy. I thought everybody liked her. I thought she was a face, bro. Maybe she was a face. Just the crazy one. <laughs> Before AJ, there was a psychotic fan of Trish Stratus, Mickey James. Mickey debuted in oh, 2005 heard about this. and introduced herself as Trish's biggest fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah. your biggest fan. I mean, I I've written you like a gazillion times. Soon after but that, she stopped being crazy, though, right? Hatred, as Trish couldn't bear with her fans' extremely obsessive behavior. During that time, Mickey has stalked her idol on multiple occasions, captured Ashley, and held her hostage and falsely accused Trish's on-screen boyfriend of assault. Ah! Help me! 
we surely don't want to get on the bad side of Mickey's 2005 character. That is, if there is a good side to begin with. So this bit was crazy, me a psycho? for sure. Do you think I'm psycho now, Ashley? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> she low-key had a great gimmick. She was she was a crazy stalker fan. She started messing up her whole life. Stephanie McMahon is perhaps one of the greatest heel characters in WWE. What may we all hate Stephanie, but that's because she is such. That's because she's great at her character, bro. She it's her plays, bad guy persona so good. Exactly, that she plays Stephanie so far great. and beyond to show just how unstable she is. We all hate her. Not only did the spoiled daughter betray both of her parents on multiple occasions. I but never saw Miss McMahon. She just slapped Miss McMahon. Stephanie struggled. Slapped that old bit. But she, she also took out has all her frustrations many from her childhood. breakdowns on live television, including the time she brutally assaulted the crew on Raw. You know it's bad when she claims that she's crazier than AJ Lee. Do you forget who you're talking to? I'm a McMahon. Nobody does crazy like better than us. Facts, all y'all niggas, man. Sherry Martell, also known as Sensational Sherry, is one of the first unsteady female characters in wrestling. But it's not just her personality that was oh, utterly this is frightening, old school. as she would enter the arena with ridiculously strange and eyebrow-raising outfits. While Martell has wrestled in the ring, she's mostly known as a legendary manager for big names such as Shawn Michaels and Randy Savage. Can't you hear me? Um. He's here. Ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <dude>. <laughs> <laughs> Our city walls and I bet you. Now, this is a woman you really should stay away from. Alicia Fox, the former Divas champion, has cemented herself as a superstar with temperament issues. Fox has done truly shocking yeah, things. Yeah, I just throughout thought she was years, a beast. I know she was crazy though. Crashing out on crew, physically assaulting ring announcers, and betraying her partner and shoving popcorn into her mouth. Not popcorn. popcorn. Also, at a live event, she suddenly decided to pin Alexa Bliss. Except she was a referee and wasn't competing in the actual match. I think they want me to be their leader. Hey, she looks you know? good, kind of bro. Part. She is pretty, <laughs> like too. Face. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I accept. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Another female superstar you truly shouldn't mess with is she Victoria. Look. Oh, and yeah. She looks like she don't play no games. Music says so. During her early career, Victoria was quite scary as she used to constantly snap and attack her opponents. All right, First, she has viciously attacked Christy Hemi in the ring after losing a bikini contest, and later backstage with a glass vase. I'm really looking forward to facing Victoria. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. oh my god! What the hell is that? What are you doing? I think we can all agree that Jacqueline summed up Victoria's character quite well in this backstage segment. He's Look at her face. So she about to slap her. Oh, never mind. All right, man, it was a cool little video. They even went old school on us. Had to show us some of the old school women that was crazy. Some of these I never heard of, bro, but it was cool, though. It was cool. Of course, we all, you know, Alexa Bliss, she's the current crazy women, woman of WWE right now. Who else is crazy in WWE? Who's a crazy woman? I think she's the only one that's like out of her mind, but she's not even out of her mind. She's quote unquote possessed. So who's a woman that's like crazy right now? I can't think of any. I guess no one's playing like the crazy card on WWE for the women. Maybe because they overutilized that so much in the past. You feel me? But Alexa Bliss is possessed. Everybody else just has their own little personality. Doesn't mean that they crazy. Y'all know Rhea Ripley is my bitch. First off, Charlotte Flair is the god, is the goddess. Okay, Charlotte, you're the queen. We love you. But Rhea Ripley, that's my bitch, guys. Shout out to the gang. Everybody have a great day. I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Peace.